Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how to make a beautiful waterproof painting on your leather jacket. Um, the drawing is pretty simple, so hopefully you'll be able to catch up. So as you can see, I start from wearing my rubber gloves. Um, I wear them most of the times so while making my customs, especially in the time of lockdown while I'm recording this video. And I also use a water resistant and scratch resistant Angelus paint. Uh, you can get the paint in um, on the Angelus website, which is uh, which is an American website, but you can always buy it from the uh, British resellers. So, in terms of making an actual painting, most of the time I start from making a basic outline of the um, artwork that I want to place on. Um, leather jacket as in this case or on shoes handbags wallets or any other accessory really um, I do it with a white angelus paint um, so obviously in that case on the black jacket is the most visible and uh, also because later on we would need to uh, fill all that drawing with uh, white paint so that um, all other colors um, reflect really nicely on the background on the jacket and um, show, show up a really, um, you know, a true, true colors. So now I'm gonna speed up a little bit the video, um, but you pretty much get the point. So um, obviously the artwork that we're making today, um, as I said, is pretty basic. Uh, so, um, you know, those are pretty classic red lips um, with kind of, uh, with a mel melting lipstick on it. Um, you know, it's pretty feminine, feminine artwork and I'm actually making it, um, for uh, for a female, for a female client, um, so um, you know, hopefully you'll be able to do the same for yourself, or perhaps for a gift for someone else, for your sister, mother, colleague, friend, whoever you want. Um, so yeah. As you can see, um, as I said before, um, I'm filling uh, all the space with the white, uh, with the white base. Then. We're gonna wait about 30 minutes for the first base to dry out and we're going to start making a um, second layer and we do it pretty much in the same way. So we try to do it as even as possible um, to spread out the paint nicely without any um, bigger bumps or missings on the surface and we're gonna use a color. So um, for the first kind of base of color, um, I'm going to use and kind of um, mark different places with different um, shades of colors. So um, while I'm trying to fill up all the space, fill up all the white base that we've cr we created at the beginning, I'm also trying to imagine um, you know all the shades all the reflections all the kind of three-dimensional bits of the drawing uh, i mean the artwork that we're creating is um it's pretty simple obviously it's it's realistic but still a little bit abstract right a little bit artistic um because i still think um even if you're beginner or if you have a little of experience a little bit of experience in uh, you know in art you will be able to do something really something similar you know so um as i said while placing the main color which is red um i will try to create a little bit of three-dimensional feeling to the painting so as you can see on the video i'm placing the lighter color um in the frontal parts of the artwork so in that way um, while we look at the painting at the artwork visually it seems it looks as if that particular bit is closer to us and while doing the lighter parts, while uh, painting the lighter parts means that the object is closer to us, right? Because it has more light on it. Um, at the same time, placing darker places, darker shades, mixing, for example, red with shades of burgundy or black means that that particular space of the object is 
a little bit further away, right? So in that way, we're creating the three-dimensional feel to the painting. So because the theme of this painting um, is um, a licking uh, lipstick, red lipstick, right, on the lips, um, that's why I kind of um, need to figure out, uh, you know, what kind of what space will represent the actual lips and um, which parts will be um, kind of uh, painted in the in the way of you know the leaking the leaking lipstick right so as you can see i'm placing the um, darker shades around the lighter the brighter spaces in order to bring up bring yeah in order to bring up um, you know that area and make it look you know as if as if you know it's actually three dimension three dimensional and it comes comes out um you know comes out and kind of um lays on top of the lips right um and obviously in order to uh, to achieve more and more um you know um three dimensional feel and kind of realistic look um you know you can still make kind of let go of yourself and make the artwork um you know really kind of abstract so um as you can see i'm placing like a smaller places like a smaller bits dots uh, hat, uh, hatches whatever um on the painting with kind of with the way uh, our you know human lips are structured right so um this is pretty much in detail of you know all the kind of white bits and bobs that are placed on the lips so that they create a little bit of three-dimensionality again to the painting and um perhaps represent some sort of reflections um or you know shades um etc on the artwork and pretty much the same thing with um painting you know teeth so obviously our teeth are white or you know off-white um but still on the painting they can look um you know a little bit as if um there is a little bit of a reflection on it so don't be afraid to use a little bit of um gray, uh, of gray shades or black shades even on your white teeth so i'm continuing the same way with the detail obviously the painting is um you know pretty big not not you know not huge but pretty big on the jacket the jacket is size uh, medium so obviously the more of a small details i'm going to place on the artwork the more realistic i guess it will look look right and um also as you can see i've been placing as i said at the beginning different shades of of red and pink you know in order to make it look more realistic right um and you know pretty much placing um different even different shades of white i'd say so you can mix the white paint with a um a little bit of a pink pa uh, paint so then it will create kind of like a pastel shade uh, which you can then um obviously softly um kind of place around the edges of in that case um kind of uh, licking lipstick on top of the lips right and we're going to continue the same way all the way um, until the beginning. So you can take this artwork as an example of um, how and where to place particular, um, you know, particular um, splashes of white and, um, you know, other colors. Once we've done previously the base of the teeth, right? So the main kind of shading from a pure clear white into the slightly grayish shade. Um, now, um, obviously, I'm trying to pull out a little bit of a reflection on it. And, um, you know, so as you can see, the same way we've done on the lips, um, you know, we'll have, it will have more of a realistic shade. So I'm not going to go much into a detail of making the artwork um, because I guess, I mean, it's an inspirational video. So, you know, you can still look at the final result of the artwork and try to kind of copy the same result. But I'm just going to say that I used two brushes while making this piece. Uh, one thin one for the details and the big one for um, kind of coloring the main parts. 
and that will be it for today so i hope you enjoyed it um you know if you watch this video fully you can check out my socials check out my um you know my customs and um i'll see you soon with the new ideas new inspirations